Let's take a look at what data sets are in Veritas Backup Exec, and I'm in version 21. So if we're in the Backup and Restore tab at the top, and I double click on a particular server, and it doesn't matter if that server is running a job or not, I can click on Backup Sets. And in Backup Sets, we see lots of different things here that all relate back to what was chosen during the setup of the backup job. So for instance, I see the C drive. That is a backup set. The system state is a backup set. So it's basically dividing up the job into various different parts where you can restore specific parts wholly and entirely during a restoration. Now if I go back into Servers and I choose Restore, I'll pick the default files, folders, or volumes. And now I have the choice between restoring file and folder backups to a point in time or from a backup set. So if I choose the point in time, it basically just gives me the ability to restore data individually on files and folders. If I go back and choose from a backup set, it basically looks like the same thing. Except now it's divided it up into incremental, full, and any other type of backup job I've done, such as a copy job. So now I can restore the C drive, for instance, from either the full or the incremental or the copy job. I can also pick individual files and folders as well. So it's really a subtle difference between choosing files and folders and choosing backup sets when going to restore. However, if you're doing a bare metal restore, that's basically when you need to restore the entire hard drive, including all the different partitions, then that's going to be a little bit different. That's going to be where you use all those different backup sets instead of just the C drive. So if I click on Complete Online Restore of a Computer, and I choose a Microsoft Windows computer that was fully selected for backup, then you can see I've got three different backup sets for which I can choose to restore. The system partition, the system state, as well as the C drive. So instead of just seeing the C drive, I see additional ones. And if I go back and choose Active Directory, then it just shows me the system state. And that would allow me to restore Active Directory from one of the backups that I have done. And it divides it up into the various different types of backup directory files that were backed up. So for instance, you've got the task schedule or the registry, etc. So backup sets really allow us to divide up a backup job into multiple parts. And when you go to do a backup, then this is where you choose what's going to be turned into a backup set. So when we click Edit on a new backup. Here are the different items that will eventually be turned into backup sets. Now you probably noticed that there's no E drive in any of my backup sets, and that's it's because it's my backup drive. So there's no reason to back up the backup drive itself. So that explains how backup sets work, how you select them, and how you restore from them in Backup Exec 21.